your promises. Good to go. Welcome to Reaction Extraction. How are y'all doing today? I'm Quint. And I'm Ty. We have been known to do 80s tunes on the show before. Mm -hmm. And uh, today, Johnny Hates Jazz, Shattered Dreams, which since we do 80s tunes, sometimes uh, there are songs that just kind of resonated, resonated with me. Whether they became passe or not later on, but in the moment, they were just crystal clear awesomeness. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Before, before they hit the mainstream, before they would become legendary, in the moment, I thought, "Wow, that is just genius!" And Johnny hates jazz with shattered dreams. It would kind of fit that for me. All right. When I heard it, it was kind of like when you hear something for the first time, mm -hmm. you think, "Oh, wow." Maybe it just grabs you or something. Yeah. Or just hits. Mm -hmm. This really hit for me. It's a song I wanted to get your vibe. Okay. 87, 88, maybe 88 by the time it was in the United States. But it's such pristine production. Just love it and had to get your vibe. Okay. curious okay because for, for for me when i heard this it was a boom it was pow mm -hmm. wow production wise that is just whatever they did worked 
Yeah, production is really good. Um, yeah, the singing is good as well, and uh, the harmonies there are very nice. Yeah, very well blended. And then on the back half of the so- the back half of the song, the uh, production just kind of like steps up a notch. The you bongos, know, or the bongos, like all over the place, very crystal clear, very well mixed, and um, the horns in there as well. Yeah, um, very well. It, it reminds me of I could definitely hear Madonna on this. <laughs> Sounds like a Madonna track, and you know she, she would just walk all over it. Yeah. Even like on, on the chorus, very pop, very pop oriented, and yeah. um, but you know, it's a great track. Great track, pop. But sometimes you just you hear things for the first time. It just transcends this pop uh, top forty, whatever the song you know immerses itself into, or wherever it ends up being uh, a number one song, or just big in a lot of countries yeah. at first if you just look at it for what it is mm-hmm. that's a fucking great song yeah whatever they did hit over and over all through it yeah that's why i like it and not a johnny h jazz had a they might have done two or three albums not that they had an incredible career but when you hit on a song like this mm-hmm. man boom love it yeah so you, you kind of got that right yeah yeah for sure there, there's there's geni- well this sounds like a top 40 hit you know what i mean like it should have taken over the charts yeah, it, it, it did, but I don't want that to take oh, away from okay. it, you know. Yeah, yeah. It, it to, you're right; it totally did. But if you take all that away, just in its entirety, just on its own, genius, genius. Am I wrong? Mm-mm. Cool. So yeah, we do a lot of '80s songs on the show. Mm. Where would you put this one? Um, the top tier or mm? up, up? Not mid, but higher than mid. Okay. Not top tier though. Okay, because the production was like just so. so like if good. you take all of them, it's not in the middle, but it's a little higher. I'll take that. Yeah. Awesome. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Thanks, Ty. That's good feedback. Of course. Well, um, thanks for checking this traction traction out, guys, with us. Um, we have tons of stuff on the channel, like we said. Go check those out, and we'll see you there. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Yeah, thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. Bye.